everyone and welcome to today's video. It's Battle of the Bags time. I'll be comparing my gifted Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of January with the self-paid one, so let's get into it. So this is Ipsy's $13 a month subscription service. We get five sample size products and a pretty pouch each month. This month's theme is Glow Your Soul, a soft launch, the new year by getting relaxed, recharged, and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Nourish your skin, play with color, practice kindness to yourself and others, and make sure you feel pampered every day because the path to getting that glow, both inside and out, starts now. I like that a theming. I think January definitely is a self-care month for me. So let's see what Ipsy sent me and what I got in my self-aid bag for the month of January. I'm going to start with the bag because this is just simply stunning. I love it. It's beautiful. It's got the silver zipper holder. Last month's bag was a little bit of a disappointment for me, mainly because the glitter came off. It went everywhere. So I can't really use those bags, but this one is beautiful. So let's start with my gifted Ipsy Glam bag. And the first item I got is from YC Collection. And this is actually their full-size island eyeliner in San Juan. Valued at $20, this revolutionary gel eyeliner is way ahead of its time, according to Ipsy's website. Not only does the smooth formula glide on effortlessly to enhance your eyes, but the multi-chromatic black pencil also transforms into different shades depending on the lighting. Swipe the pencil across your water lines and lash lines for intensified eyes and blend with the built-in smudger to create a smoky look. YC Collection specializes in innovative, high-quality cosmetics that incorporate the festive traditions and rich colors of Puerto Rico. That sounds really good. I have a ton of eyeliners. I definitely didn't need one. I feel like I get one in almost every bag, but this does sound really interesting and I do like that it comes with a smudger. The next item I got is this mini Verify Skincare 2020 Eye Cream. And I actually have the full size because I got it in an Ipsy bag a little while ago. I've almost used it up. So here is the full size in case you're curious. This full size has 15 milliliters and then this mini has five milliliters just to compare. But I do have thoughts already on this since I've used it. But according to Ipsy's website, this do-it-all eye cream uses a cocktail of hydrating, firming, and brightening ingredients like niacinamide and peptides to help minimize dark circles, soften lines, and smooth rough texture. Gently pat a small amount around your eye area both morning and night, and led by a team of women in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, Verify makes high-performance skincare that's powered by nature and backed by science. I think this is a really a good eye cream. Like I said, I've almost used it all. I did like it. It's not too thick. It's definitely not too heavy, but it does pack a hydration punch. I do think a lot of different skin types would enjoy it, so I'm definitely going to put this mini into use as well. Next up, I have a makeup item from a brand I'm previously unfamiliar with. This is a Downtown Paris, and this is their eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. This is a deluxe size mini, and according to Ipsy's website, this little tube of liquid rose gold will easily become a standout in your beauty lineup. It glides effortlessly onto your lids and blends like a dream while be also being comfortable and long-lasting. Use your finger to blend a small amount on your lids, and Downtown Paris combines skincare and makeup to create products with skin perfecting, protective and moisturizing properties. And here the sun just came up, but hopefully you can see I swatched it a little bit. It does look really pretty. It is metallic, not glittery at all. I don't know how it performs on the eyes yet since I've just swatched it, but it does look really beautiful. Let me see if I can blend it. I think you need to blend it quite fast. I can see that it already started drying when I swatched it. But here I tried blending it. It didn't blend so well because it already had started to dry. So just if you use it, make sure that you blend it right away and don't let it sit too long. But it does look beautiful. I don't typically use these kind of liquid eyeshadows, but I'll definitely give this one a try. There's a lot of product in this one. The next item I got is a skincare mini. This is from, is it REN or REN Clean Skincare? I can never be sure, but this is their deluxe size mini of Radiance Glow and Protect Serum. And according to Ipsy's website, get bright and glowy skin 
in as little as two weeks with help from this lightweight serum. It's powered by antioxidant rich superfruits like Hagaru plum, dragon fruit, and pomegranate to help protect your skin from free radicals too. For your first use, it just snap off the aluminum tip to get the product flowing, then massage a small amount into your cleansed face and neck both morning and night. To reseal the tube, simply turn over the tip you snapped off and then slip it back into the opening skinny side first. That sounds really complicated. I'll have to see when I open it up. Ren Clean Skincare uses ingredients that work with your skin without causing irritation. Ingredients with your skin would choose from sustainable sources to sustainable packaging. I see on Ipsy's website, lots of people have said that they there's no way to close it. It's really difficult packaging. It's how they like it. I'm not going to open it because I have a feeling I won't be able to close it either. But I think I'll just have like a container where I can squeeze it into or somehow come up with a lid for it, maybe tape in order to use it. But that does sound really complicated. It a little bit puts a damper on an otherwise really interesting product. I will say it does say it's recyclable sample in 100% recycled aluminum. So I do appreciate that. I just feel like it does sound very complicated. And the last item I got is a mini from Toy Factory. And this is their mineral niacinamide setting powder in the shade a translucent. I feel like I've been getting a lot of setting powders in my Ipsy bags as well. According to Ipsy's website, Meet Ultra Set, your new bestie for flawless airbrush skin, formulated with niacinamide and packed with the B3 vitamins. This anti-caking setting powder helps lock in your makeup and visibly reduce the look of pores while leaving your skin feeling silky soft. Using a brush or makeup puff, gently tap the powder onto your skin wherever you need to set. Formulated with vegan skin first ingredients, developed by skincare experts, Toy Factory is all about data-driven smart makeup. This is a little, tiny little sample, but sometimes you get the idea using this much. I don't use that much powder, so this would last me quite some time. It does look like it's interesting color for translucent. It's definitely a more a beigey, but maybe the packaging only. I'll have to test it out and let you guys know. But it is really interesting sounding. I like that it has skincare benefits. So let me move this gifted bag here and then we can take a look at the self-paid bag. I really like Ipsy, so even though I do get Ipsy bags as PR, I still purchase my own just because I like getting the products. Plus when I order my own, uh, then I can choose some of the products. So here is that pretty bag. I still just love it. And let me start with something that was the same in both bags, my self-paid and the gifted one it is this verify eye cream which i'm not mad about because i do like it so i'll definitely put that one into use the second thing <laughs> seems like i got two similar products i also got the ren clean skincare radiance glow and protect serum well this is kind of nice now i can use more of it and see actual results so this one uh, would go through really quickly but i'll have to think of a way to kind of store this. I'll probably have some empty containers in my empties drawer where I can take one and maybe squeeze all of this in. But let's get into the products that were in my bag that were different. So first up, I have a Less Beauty liner. This is actually a lip liner in the shade City Lights. I was first thinking it's another eyeliner, but now I'm more excited that it is actually a lip liner. And my self-made bag came with this little card, so I'll read from this. Creating the perfect palette has never been easier. This retractable lip liner boasts a richly pigmented medium pink color in an easy to use twist up pencil. It also delivers eight to 12 hours of wear, which means you don't have to worry about constantly touching up your lip, hallelujah. Use the tip of the liner to draw along your lip lines to fill in your lip entirely. And this is another full size item valued at $18. That sounds really interesting. Let's take a look at the shade. Now this thing is really sharp in the beginning and that is awesome. I like that. Here's the shade. It looks like kind of like pillow talk 
the medium pillow top. That's how I would describe it. It is really pretty, the city light shade. So I'll definitely put this in to use. It felt really creamy, no tucking and pulling, but not too creamy, which is also important. So it sounds really good. So I'll definitely put it in to use. So the next item in my self paid bag is a skincare item from First Aid Beauty. This is a brand I love and is their deep cleanser with red Play. The days of worrying about your next breakout are over. This daily cleanser helps purge the skin and balance sebum production thanks to red clay and rosemary leaf oil. Plus, antioxidants help fend off environmental aggressors and glycerin hydrates and help smooth your skin. Gently massage a dime sized amount of cleanser over a damp face. And this is a sample size, but I think it has quite a bit of product. So that is a nice size sample. I will say this is not meant for my skin type. I have a drier skin. I don't suffer from breakouts that often, but I do have a friend that would really like this. So I'll give this to them. Now, one of the perks of being an Ipsy subscriber is that you get to choose one product each month. And this time I chose this eyeshadow palette by Lucky Chick. It's called Daydreams. And this is a super mini a size pan, but really you don't need that much. I see, I think that's a pressed glitter in the center too, but it does look really beautiful. Let me put it here so we can see, and let's take a look at what the card tells us. The eyeshadow palette of your dreams has arrived. The nine pan collection features a range of shades and finishes from new to stunning metallic toppers. Formulated with ingredients like vitamin E, jojoba seed oil, and shea butter, each shade is ridiculously creamy and easy to blend. Swipe and blend the matte and shimmery shades and then press on the topper colors. Now I think it really has only one topper, but I do see three shimmers and then five mattes, which is a really good ratio in my opinion. And I think I've seen some other people post on Instagram that they have really enjoyed this palette with the exception of the chunky glitter in the center. And it does look really chunky. So that's something to consider. But other than that, this palette has gotten really good reviews. I like the neutral color story. I just wish there was a mirror in here. If this is a $20 palette, I think it should have a mirror right here. But other than that, this looks beautiful. We can also shop add-on products to our Ipsy bags each month. They cost around three and a half dollars up to I think 18 or something, depending on what you get. And this time I got this mini ultra repair cream from First Aid Beauty. I love this and this is just the perfect travel size. This one was $3.50. So I think this was definitely worth it. There is two ounces product here. So this is probably a familiar product to most of you, but this is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream. And according to Ipsy's website, this whipped ultra hydrating cream helps relieve dry, distressed, and even eczema prone skin with a blend of soothing and moisturizing ingredients like shea butter, licorice root, and white tea extract. Morning and night slather a generous amount over your face and neck, and this innovative brand offers feel-good solutions and head-to-toe essentials for all skin types. To me, this is definitely more of a body cream for me. I rarely use it on my face, but when traveling, I tend to use it everywhere, including face, just so I don't have to take a, a separate moisturizer with me, but just an all-around amazing moisturizer. I have really enjoyed it. So these were all the items in my gifted Ipsy Glam Bag and my self-paid Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of January. I think it's pretty clear which one is my favorite selection. Obviously, it's the one I chose. I will say there were some interesting products in the gifted one as well. It's not personalized for me, this gifted one, which always does make a difference. And this one is more personalized. Although this time there's definitely that one that is not personalized for me. I don't need that at all. So there's that, but I'm happy that I got these eye creams. Like I said, I like the full size one. I'll definitely put all of these, both of these into use. It's almost like I got two thirds of the full size when I got two of these in this is 15 and these are five then i'm excited that i got two of these uh, ren beauty uh, serums granted the packaging does sound really tricky but now i have two i'll be able to use it some more and then this looked really beautiful like i said it's set really fast though so something to consider about i wish it was slightly more uh, sparklier it looks a little bit dull 
the swatch dust however if i apply it on my eyelids it could be a different story so i'm not going to you know judge this based on one swatch this one sounds really interesting this toy factory setting powder it has some skincare benefits i'll put it into use as well i have a ton of eyeliners i might just give it to someone who would like it then uh, my self-paid bag lots of cool stuff going on in here a lip liner oh my gosh it looks beautiful it's kind of like the pillow talk of a vibe going on in there the formula i can't speak of uh, quite yet um this deep cleanser i'll give it to a friend someone will use it for sure then the beautiful palette it's gotten really good reviews with the exception of that pressed glitter i don't think that's anyone's favorite ever i wish brands would just sell those separately to those of us that like pressed glitter and then of course my purchase i love uh, this ultra repair cream so i'm very happy about it now i did calculate a combined value for both of these for the gifted one is twenty dollars for this eyeliner although granted i don't think eyeliners in general are worth twenty dollars it must be pretty exceptional this is made in china but i will say like high-end ones uh, sure i can maybe pay 20 but really rarely do i pay this much for an eyeliner so take that value with a grain of salt now here the value is 38 dollars, which i think is pretty amazing but once again i wouldn't pay 18 dollars for a lip liner I have an Elf's $2 lip liner that I really like. So that again, take it with a grain of salt. This one, uh, I mean, the packaging doesn't scream a $20 palette, but maybe the formula will be so amazing. But I will say like you can get these kind of nine pounds from ColourPop a little bit cheaper. So value wise, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It might be worth it, but it does have that one pressed glitter. So personally, I wouldn't pay $20 for that but getting it in my ipsy bag is amazing because this bag was $13 with a calculated $38 value even though that's a little bit inflated the value is still definitely there and then if you count this one then the bag is $16 and a half dollars and to me the value is still definitely there and the bags are so beautiful I just simply love them I love that they went with a different kind of bag this month because last month bag was a bit of a messy disappointment if you are subscribed to ipsy let us know in the comment section what you got and what you thought of your bag i know we get different things and value different items so maybe your bag was completely different please share in the comment section but these were my gifted ipsy glam bag for the month of january and my self-paid bag thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope you subscribe and if you like these kind of videos and want to see more of their kind please consider giving this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video